Hello all, wanted to give you a quick demo of getting started with attack defense beta access. So if you do not have an invite code, click on sign up for beta. And this should take you to a simple Google form. We have our terms of service and privacy policy up there. Uh, put in your name, email, country and select if you're an existing Pentester Academy student. This choice does not matter. This is really for us to understand who's accessing the lab. Now, once you go ahead and submit this form, within 10 minutes, you should go ahead and get your welcome email with your invite code inside it. Now, if you do not get this within the next 10 minutes, make sure that you go ahead and contact us on Twitter. We are at SecurityTube. So let's jump back in here. So I'm going to paste my invite code. Now what we actually use on the site is login with Google. So any Google account, even an account just created for attack defense will work. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, click on the invite code. And this actually takes me to login with Google. And if you notice, Google specifically tells you all it shares with us is your email address. That's pretty much it. So Based on this, I'm going to go ahead, click on allow. And this will automatically log me in to attackdefense.com. So right now we are creating our account and all of that is happening. And voila, we are inside. So I'll just quickly show you three simple labs, three interesting labs rather, and then you know allow you to go ahead and try and sign up yourself. So the very first one is actually going to be Traffic Analysis Labs, T-Shark Labs. And you can actually click on any of the labs. And this will give you a description of the mission, in some cases, hints and solutions as well. You can start the lab. And while this is starting, in the meantime, I'm going to open up one other lab section. And this should only take around 25 seconds. It's actually quite fast. So let's wait for it. And in the meantime, in the traffic analysis section, let's look at backdoor system. So there you go. In under 25 seconds, we have the lab link. And once you click on this, this automatically takes you inside the lab environment all of this through the browser. So what you'll actually see in attack defense is all the labs, pen testing, enumeration, every single thing can actually be done through the browser. No VPN, no hassle. You can access this anytime, anywhere, coffee shop, you know, your office, simply because your machine isn't going to be exposed like it is in a VPN and you don't require special firewall rules to be open, etc. And of course, this is also very, very light on bandwidth. So now once you're inside the lab, you can go ahead and look at the lab description. So this is a T-Shark lab. And then you can, you know, go ahead and solve the lab, read the question. So this is T-Shark and we're actually looking at different packets and whatnot, right? So this is the first kind of lab where you have a terminal available through a web browser. And using that, you can actually play and complete the lab. Now, the next kind of lab we have is actually a full-blown GUI lab. So here is an example of Wi-Fi forensics, which is actually best done using Wireshark. So what we are going to give you is a full-blown GUI environment, which is also accessible through the browser. So let's wait for this to open. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you one other lab, which is web applications. So let's look at remote code execution. And let's say OS Commerce. Open up the lab page. So it looks like we have hit a very simple system limit. I'm going to pause the video real quick. Uh, this is just to ensure, you know, we don't end up spending too many labs too soon. So we need three minutes wait. Okay, so after the three minute wait, I'm restarting the lab. And this should roughly take 25 seconds. Now, 
this lab is very interesting because as I said, you're going to get a full-blown Linux environment uh, with the GUI, but via the web browser. And this will truly illustrate the advantage of getting everything through the browser. So this also takes roughly around 25 seconds to start. And there you go. Uh, you have the lab link here, click on it. And this will automatically take you to your GUI environment. Now all of these URLs are completely randomly generated, these subdomains, and are destroyed once you stop the lab. There you go. So you can clearly see we have our Wireshark in here and you actually have a very bare bone Linux system which is available. You can go ahead, change the monitor settings and whatnot. Additionally, you can actually go ahead and do every single thing you did on your computer. So you can look at different packets, uh, you can look at all the different fields. So everything you're doing on a local system, you could do here. So as an example, uh, if we want to go ahead and apply a filter for all beacon frames, so I can select a beacon frame, click type subtype, right click on that, apply as filter, select it, and this automatically filters it just like Wireshark would. The key innovation as you can see is all of this is seamlessly delivered through the web browser. So I'll show you one more lab and then I'll leave you to it. You can sign up, it's signing up is completely free. So now let's look at web applications. This is an interesting category as well. I'm going to start the lab. Now keep in mind there is a reason we call this beta. <laughs> Simply because we are adding a ton of new challenges between three to five a day. And within the next month or so, uh, we should have a couple of hundred on the website. And we also plan to add you know, other categories, CTFs, badge wins and whatnot, right? So, just make sure that you keep checking the website. What is currently there isn't really the final cut. There's going to be tons of things going on. So web applications, right? Something we, all of us want to practice. So in this, what we've done is we allow you to spin up vulnerable instances of web applications, which are available on random private URLs, so that now you can go ahead and pretty much pen test this application just like you would any web application on the internet. And of course, as I mentioned, once you're done, all you have to do is stop. And this ends up stopping this instance, uh, which basically goes ahead and ensures that you can move on to the next lab and you don't have to worry about this consuming more resources, right? Fantastic. So as I said, we already have a lot of other categories, for example, uh, you know, we have nmap challenges where you can start nmap and, you know, play different things and whatnot. So I would highly recommend you sign up. It's completely free right now. And let us know your feedback. Thank you.